talk about DeMarcus Cousins, <laughs> one of the big names yet to find a new home for next season. KP, why has Boogie not found a team yet? Well, the game is changing. Um, you know, you have to be an athletic center. Um, you have to be a guy that, that could be versatile. You have to be a guy that could either shoot the threes or, or block the shot. And I think, you know, the injury really affected Cousins, but he's never been above the rim type player. And you look at a guy like Joel Embiid, yeah, he's a big guy, but he's athletic. He's come through the lane, he's windmilling, he's protecting the rim. And I think, and I said this a couple of weeks ago, I think the game is passed up Boogie, sad to say. But I still think that he could bounce back from this. Look at D. Rose. D. Rose went from going on two vet minimum contracts to now he signed a nice two-year deal in Detroit. So it's still room for Cousins to improve, but I think people still question his character for us with culture. Culture is huge now in the NBA. You know, like, unless you're LeBron James, unless you're Kevin Durant, unless you're uh, uh, James Harden or uh, Anthony Davis, maybe, it, you know, you throw in Russell Westbrook. Unless you're them top, oh, Kawhi Leonard. Unless you're those top tier guys, the NBA feel like you could be replaced. And they're not going to have a guy come in that's going to sabotage their culture or whatever the case may be. And, and, and man, I just wish the best for Cousins. So he have a long summer ahead. He need to, you know, make sure he's in the best shape possible and go in and, and get in shape and go to work. Okay, I got to say here, though, he was not a culture problem in New Orleans. He was not a culture problem in Golden State. The fact that he had an issue, had a series of issues when he was in Sacramento. Right. I think we got to say Sacramento had a series of issues too. He had seven or eight different coaches, I think. I mean, there was a lot going on in that franchise. So I'm not sure that it's buggy that Boogie is considered some sort of you know malcontent around the league anymore. Right. I do wonder though, is it just cap space, Nick, or is it just a matter of okay if? Why doesn't sign with the Lakers? We could see them use some of that money on him. I really or? think it's just injuries. Like he just came off a torn quad and a torn Achilles. Right. And when you when you saw him, mean, he won Game Two for the Warriors yeah. in the finals. Like that man the stretch, got yeah. himself back onto the court. I have yeah. no idea how he, he did, did that with that quad injury. And he it just goes to show you in this league like how quickly things can turn. Yeah. And you know you'd think there'd be some kind of loyalty there to, <laughs> from Golden State to say thank you for putting yourself out there like that, but. It, you know, he, he's he's coming off two serious injuries, and, like, he couldn't hardly move. You saw him running in the finals. He could hardly what run. What you say, Nick? The problem here is he's got baggage on two fronts, Rich. Mm -hmm. He's got the injury baggage, which is well known with the Achilles and the quad. And to your point, I don't think he rocked the boat much in New Orleans, but he built that reputation, to Perk's mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. in Sacramento. And the, the feeling seemingly around the league is, was he on his best behavior last year? Is this the new real boogie? Or is he going to revert, especially if he goes to a bad team in a bad culture on a one-year deal where nobody's really invested in him anymore? Tank is so all, there are two different sides. All it takes is one GM to, to say it, and then everybody else go fall in line, you know. So if one GM said, it, mm -hmm. you know, they could be saying, oh, maybe he's trying to fool us, and they'd be scared to take a chance on him. Well, look, if Kawhi ever makes his decision, then certain at least two teams will have some cap money that they could use. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.